Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues as I get the light off and on here and uh, today we are taking a look at the All-Stars 2 Wave and we're taking a look at the new 52 Superman. Finally found him. Um, they are not, at least in my area, they are not in stores like Walmart and Target yet as far as I've seen here in Ohio. I actually picked him up in a comic book store and I did have a voucher for my Batman from Mattel that had the wobbly legs and stuff like that. I was hoping to be able to use that to purchase Superman, but the comic book store really couldn't accept it as they're not a you know a chain type of store. So they said it's harder for them to use um, vendor coupons. So I actually used that on some other figures. Uh, this past week I bought six DCUC figures, so I've got a ton of figures to review today as long as my camera battery holds out. So, uh, this is the last figure I'm picking up in the wave. I've already reviewed Batman and Red Robin and then Superman here today. I am not going to pick up Superboy Prime in this wave. Um, even if I find him very, very cheap, I'm planning on not buying that Superboy. It, it really doesn't do anything for me as a fan or collector. Um, I'm sure there's Superman fans out there that absolutely love to have Superboy Prime, but uh, he's going to be a pass, so... Um, I'm just going to get the three figures here. Um, right off the bat, I love this Superman a lot. Yes, I do have some of the same problems that a lot of you have with the loose uh, stomach. As you can tell, it's really, really wobbly. Um, um, you can kind of see right there, it's really hard to keep him standing. He wants to kind of tip back and, you know puff out his chest quite a bit um, and it's due to the fact of the cape um, the joint itself is really loose so I'm disappointed in that am I gonna call Mattel about it yeah you better believe I am um, my Superman head is not it's a little wobbly as you can kinda see here maybe a little bit um, but he does stay in stay where you put it uh, but straight up and down he does t tend to wanna dip his head just a little bit. Um, I think it's a beautiful looking figure. I like this one a lot better than this uh, Superman. Um, and while I've got him up here, um, I want to say they're the same body type of figures, but the original DC UC Superman is taller. Um, almost by head. I, I want to say it's the same body, but, uh, you know, they're, it's, it almost has to be in the legs as everybody topples over here. Um, get them put back up here. Um, so you can see where the belts hit, that this Superman's belt hits almost in the crotch. So I'm assuming it must be in the legs. They have shorter legs on the new... Um, sculpted because the arms look to be exactly the same length um the arms are kind of bent differently here but uh yeah i'm not sure uh, maybe it's a longer arm shorter leg um and they're gonna fit fine with your dcuc figures um so i've got the box back here let's get through the box really quick um, we'll raise the camera it's depicting uh we'll turn the light off here so i don't blind the uh, artwork out too much but showing the uh, picture here, the same box that we've had for quite a while from the classics. Um, instead of the muted blue um, on the logos of the heroes that go right here, um, it's now a full color. Uh, you see I paid $21.99 at a comic book store that we were at in Toledo, Ohio. Um, Bomb same. And there's your phone number right here, uh, if I can find it. Yes, right here, the 1-800. If you have loose joints and things like that, they recommend you calling them. Um, maybe I'll score another certificate to pick up uh, another figure. But, you know, I'm paying 20 bucks for this figure. I want him in perfect condition. So uh, we'll get back to that in a second. We'll get through the box here real quick. Uh, the biography, I have the box from the Superman upstairs. I should have brought it down with me so we could compare the two. But it says the biography, rocketed to Earth from the doomed planet Krypton, the infinite Kal-El was adopted by a kindly Kent family of Smallville, Kansas. Young Clark Kent grew strong and powerful under the rays of Earth's yellow sun, developing a phenomenal, phenomenal array of superpowers. In adulthood, Clark would use these abilities as Superman, championing the virtuous truth, justice, and the American way, <laughs> while keeping a secret... Uh, his secret, his true identity as crusading reporter for the great 
Metropolitan newspaper. Hopefully I didn't botch that too much. Then you can see go to MattyCollector.com, blah, blah, blah. The other figures in the wave, of course, Superman, Batman, Red Robin. Very good figure. And then Superboy Prime. Uh, I'm sure there's people out there that do like Superboy Prime, but for me personally, it's a pass. I would have I would have put somebody else here, but um, I kind of get they have, you know, Batman and a Red Robin, Superman and a, you know, a, a Superboy, so I get why they did that. So we'll get the box out of the way here and get back to the uh, figures. Turn the light on here, drop the camera back down. So we were kind of looking at the uh, size and the scale of it. Um, I'm fine with the size. I mean, this one, you could tell, is a lot, uh, I should say a lot, a little bit taller. Same exact cape, so you do have the toppling backwards effect uh, going on from time to time. And as you could tell, my Superman here with the joint that bends backward be backwards because the weight of the cape, um, he does stand funny. You don't notice it too much. Up front, I can get him in that pose a little bit, but the, a little bump from the table does send him back. Um, I do like the black S. Of course, on the new 52, they got away from the yellow one, so the black S is back here, and the paint kind of goes down behind, so it actually looks more folded, whereas this one was up top. Um, I just really like the suit. I know some people complain about Superman and Batman not having underwear, on the outside any anymore but I'm okay with that we've got the red belt here kind of breaking that up at least the solid blue up a little bit but I'm fine with that and I really like the detailing in the suit I kind of like the cuffs down here and you kind of see the you know Superman s shield you know plated in the armor uh, the face sculpt I like this face sculpt so much better than the other Superman that we received. It just it looks more looks more natural. And yes, Superman, uh, Superman is a little bit younger in the new 52. Bring the other one up here for comparison. But this uh, Superman shield, like Batman's logo, is raised up off of the chest. And I think that is really, really cool. Just a little bit of extra detail, um, as this one is just painted on to the chest. Um, I like the extra sculpting in the boots that they did rather than just the simple red around the boot. And you know, these are all raised and sculpted and molded so that adds a little bit. Plus the extra lines that are in here I like a lot. Um, a cool thing I like quite a bit about it is the collar on Superman. And of course we got the blue highlights in the hair for you know his hair being black just get that little extra detail that they put in a really solid figure highly recommend picking this up now they're going to be releasing these again in 2013 as part of their uh, DC unlimited line I believe that's what it's called um, and Superman and Batman are going to be in, uh, have a, a repaint this is going to be a lot lighter blue and Batman's gray will be a lot lighter gray. It almost looks metallic. Um, yes, he has a little bit of a wobbly head. It's kind of a little bit of a downer. Um, but the other thing that I like a lot is his face works really well with my Young Justice Superboy. If I pick them both up here, get them in frame... And uh, I think they both work very, very well together. And almost looks like this is the clone of this Superman as opposed to, you know, this one where their face sculpts were almost completely different. Yes, this is coming off the cartoon series, but uh, having him next to this Superman, I think it works very well. And their height scale was really good to one another. So that's really cool that I um, have a... A nice blend between the Young Justice and the DC Universe. And plus, if I felt like I wanted to, I could paint him black and red like the uh, New 52 Superboy looks. But, you know, I'm not going to mess with this figure. Um, something I recently started doing with my flying figures is I created these stands. This is a coat, uh, coat hanger. I saw somebody else on YouTube do this. And I thought about buying the flight stands, but this is a real cheap way 
to get your figures to fly and I'm gonna try and do this quickly here and hopefully I haven't had this Superman you know flying yet um, all the standard DCUC articulation I'm not gonna go into all that we know how all that is um, they didn't change anything there so I've got my stand there and if we look if I get the camera hopefully to go all the way up, maybe I'll just raise the whole thing. I get Superman flying there. So that's a nice way to, if you want your superheroes to fly, turn the camera on there. I think that's really cool. And of course I also did it with, uh, I just flattened the end of the coat hanger. Of course, I cut it into whatever size I want. We have all these, all these little openings in the back. And uh, so depending on how you wanted your heroes to fly or hover, since in the cartoon show, Superboy doesn't fly. He jumps more than anything. Kind of got him like that. And if you had some other heroes, you could kind of hide the coat hanger, so to speak. Um, I think it works pretty good. This is a little extra thing I wanted to kind of share with you here on YouTube. I saw somebody else on YouTube do, so I took this a page out of their book. But we'll get Superman down here real quick. And uh, we'll bring up Red Robin. Hopefully. Work with me. And Batman. So these are the ones from this line I am going to pick up. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. This has been Rob for Rob's Rogue signing off and saying we will see you guys next time.